good people. What is going on? Uh, another episode of the Algo Podcast. I uh, want to talk about the Detroit Lions. Um, we are roughly about 20, eh, call it 23 hours, I guess, from um, Detroit's loss to the Minnesota Vikings. And really a lot of that game and a lot of that talk uh, on the game has been the fourth and four decision where Dan Campbell decided to attempt a field goal instead of go for it. I believe there's like a minute 15 left in the game and the kicker misses the field goal. And to me, and I actually tweeted this real time of, I just don't understand. So here's the situation. Detroit's defense cannot stop the Vikings offense. We could not stop them. We were gifted a fumble by Dalvin Cook we were gifted an injury to Dalvin Cook on the same play, so we didn't have to deal with him again uh, the rest of that game. And we were gifted uh, Kevin McConnell's play calling, where he just did not commit to the run game, which, I mean, I, I would have to take a look at it, but if Dalvin Cook was under six yards of carry, I'd be shocked. And we just got so many gifts in the game. But... We could, we, Justin Jefferson, I mean, I don't even know how many targets he got in the game. Maybe three. I mean, they didn't throw him the ball. And we just had so many gifts and so many things go our way that it is, um, you just can't, you can't give, give those types of games away. I mean, Justin Jefferson went for 185 yards in that first game. I mean, you, you, you just, you have the opportunity so, right, their offense is clicking. You can't stop them. We've got a corner in Amani Arariye uh, who has decided that he's going to tackle any receiver that he covers instead of just actually cover them and play defensive back. So, even if they did get an incomplete pass, chances are he's probably holding and is going to get the flag called. So, even if you kick that field goal and you get the three, you're only – by six points so a touchdown still beats you and I'm not sure if Dan Campbell watched the game that I was watching but I saw Orarier with zero confidence in the uh, in the game I saw him tackling every receiver before they got the ball and I saw an offense in the Vikings offense we could not stop them so I didn't understand why you would go for the kick there because a touchdown still beats you. And that's just assuming you get the kick, which our kicker had already missed a field goal at, at early in the game. Fourth and four. And the, the tough part is, is where I'll give Dan Campbell some credit is Amon Ra St. Brown is banged up. He's limping around. Uh, Swift is out of the game at that point, but he's nicked up. So there are guys that are, that are kind of hurt, but I, I just I felt like we had enough there to get it. But my point is, is with Dan Campbell, you cannot continue to have your decision making cost us games. That is the worst possible situation you can have is for your play calling and your decision making to be in question. If you think that's not a big deal, ask Nathaniel Hackett. He's, he, he, he had a long first week, very long. So for Dan Campbell, I like him. I like him a lot. But I don't, my affinity for him uh, does not trump performance. And to have the opportunity to be one and on the division, two and one in the season, and have two winnable games coming up before the bye week, that is a great opportunity that we just essentially gave away. And credit to the Vikings. They, they, when they needed the plays, they made them. But it's just disappointing. Uh, Dan Campbell has, has got to stop with the second guessing. Like, you, like, just put the decision in your players' hands. And I'm sure that offense wanted to stay out there and finish the game. Because if they get a first down, the game is over. So, you know, it's a day later. I'm still annoyed. I'm mad that we lost. But it is what it is. We uh, definitely need to beat Seattle um, next week, and we'll see what happens. But that's it for me. Peace.